Hi guys, so we are here at Fan Expo with the lovely author of uh, the new show, well, to soon to be show, <laughs> we think, The Valiant, uh, Leslie Livingston, and we wanted to ask you all about it, but okay. firstly, how are you enjoying the con? I am having a fantastic time. I love these things. Uh, it's weird being an author and you spend all of your time either alone or with your imaginary friends or your cats. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one weekend out of the year that you actually get to come here and interact with all these insane people. Yeah. In a good way. I mean insane in a good way. Um, and it's, it's so amazing and the fans are terrific and it's very exciting mm -hmm. and it's craziness. It is. Yes. Uh, and I'm, I haven't had enough coffee. <laughs> Other than that, I'm good. We'll get you some later. <laughs> And um, but I have to say, you know, it's it's great to sort of be here mainly with the rest of the artists. But there's so much TV shows and movies and everything going on. Absolutely. But this area for the artists and for the writers is absolutely packed. There's obviously a lot of interest here. Is there? Have you had much interest in your books here? I have. Uh, yeah, we. You know, I, I signed. Uh, I've, I've been signing for three days now, and the fans have been terrific. And so a lot of books. Signed a lot of books, and I've had a couple of people come up and be like very excited about the TV thing and I'm like yeah me too uh, yes and yeah and, and I you know there's I can say this much about it which is basically I'm super excited about it uh, as excited basically as, as, as the readers are um, but it's been really entertaining to sort of watch that sort of added level of excitement mm -hmm. it's like you know because I get a lot of I get a lot of repeat fans over the years because this will uh, the Valiant is actually my 12th published novel yeah, yeah, so I've, I've got a lot of fans that are actually fans of my work in general. And so, you know, they come and see me year after year. And then this year they're like, and! And I'm like, yes, and! And so we, we kind of, you know, we squeal at each other a yeah. bit and then, and then you, I sign their books. You fun girl together. Exactly. Really. Yeah, and I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm as big a fangirl as anybody. I, yeah. Like, I, I come to these things and I see, you know, people who are my favorites in TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I get to geek out a little bit. And... Who have you been geeking out about this weekend then? Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I haven't had a chance to actually see any of the Rocky Horror people because they're in the North Building, and the North Building is... Right. is it is miles away. It is yeah. miles away, and, a, and it might as well be a universe from, from yeah. this building. Um, but I, I was always a big Rocky Horror girl when I was growing up, and, right. and like Tim Curry and Barry Bostwick and yeah. Little Nails there, and, and so I think that's really cool. Um, I've been hanging out a lot with uh, David Hayter, who wrote X-Men and X2 and Watchmen, and he's the voice of Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid. He's actually a friend of, of, uh, of mine. And he's super fun. Um, I got to have uh, dinner last night with uh, with Diggle from Arrow, who's, who's wonderful. Isn't he great? Yes, and this tall. Yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. And this wide. Yes, he's yeah, he's a <laughs> large, handsome mammal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, well, speaking of David Hayter and some of the other writers, have you had tips or anyone particularly that you've idolized over the years in terms of writing? Oh gosh. Uh, in terms of book writing or film and TV writing, um, yeah, I mean, so many though. It like not not even I, a lot of people wouldn't even know. I, like Guy Gabriel K, uh, Park Godwin. Um, I love what Dave would did with the uh, the X Men films because I was actually a big X Men fan of the comic books before they were turned into movies. And and so when all that was happening, I was like, Dave, don't mess this up, Dave. Yeah. And he didn't. And wonderful. Um, so that's that's fun. Yeah. Um, so many of the comic artists and writers around here, I mean, over the years have just been uh, just inspirational to talk to. Yeah, definitely. Well, we have to talk a bit more about The Valiant, which is being developed for the CW, yes, um, which kind of makes sense because it's sort of a teen drama yeah. and certainly that fits on the CW along with a lot of other female-led shows like Supergirl, I, Zombie, Jane the Virgin. Um, how did it come about? Uh, well, the book itself is uh, about a 17-year-old girl in uh, ancient Britain, in first century Britain, who is, uh, she's a, the, da the daughter of a king, and she spends her entire life wanting to follow in her, her sister's footsteps, who uh, was this legendary warrior, uh, and she wants to join her father's war band, but her sister was killed when Julius Caesar invaded, and so she's got this sort of hatred for anything Rome and Roman. Mm -hmm. uh, on the eve of her 17th birthday, Things go horribly awry, which is supposed to be, you know, happy occasion. Yeah. It doesn't work Turns out that out. way. Turns yeah. Out. yeah. Uh, she winds up getting actually um, kidnapped by slavers and transported to Rome, where she is sold uh, in the forum to a school for female gladiators, which happens to be owned and operated by none other than Julius Caesar. Wow. 
awkward. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just no. Yes. So that was essentially the, the that's the concept of the book. Um, and the, the sequel's coming out actually in February. It's called The Defiant. So that's the story, uh, Fallon's journey to this, uh, this, this warrior place. Um, and it's not just it, about the warriors, is it? It's because you've got romance in there. There's romance in there. There's a, yeah, Love there's... And- there's a big sisterhood component uh, because once she gets to the the gladiator school, there are all the, uh, these other female warriors that she becomes either friends or rivals with, uh, you know, according to their particular natures. Mm-hmm. And they sounds like high school it, it, <laughs> with weaponry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's almost exactly it. And it's interesting because um, the way that uh, uh, the way that a lot of things, things are happening in the media right now is that there is that push towards uh, the strong female-driven, both yeah. in front of the camera and behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, there's that drive towards that. And it really, I mean, there was there was a little movie that came out um, this summer. I don't know if you saw yeah, it. Yeah, something with a W. Yeah, it's um, like Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Wonder. Yes, that, yeah, that, that, that sold a couple of tickets. Yeah. Uh, got a little bit of buzz. Yeah, so it, the timing was actually pretty extraordinary for that because yeah. of you, you know because I've been working on the Valiant for you know some time leading up to this and and I was kind of hoping that Wonder Woman might become a thing and right. and it became a massive amazing thing and when I saw it I was like yes <laughs> because like Perfect oh timing. yeah and and the way that I mean the way that Patty Jenkins and, and, and Gal Gadot uh, just knocked it out of the park with the portrayal of that character with the direction and with just this sense of female empowerment that was so gratifying and uh, you know i was like that's yeah and then you look at the cover of the valiant and there's a girl standing in like you know armor Similar with the sword yeah and i was like wear. Yeah. huh and interestingly enough uh, bustle.com after the movie came out they were like the, the top 10 books you should be reading if you're you know jonesing for wonder woman and and valiant was one of them so i was like fantastic yes and and it, it, the timing completely coincidental yeah. or as I like to say, fortuitous. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so, and also now, because you, like you just mentioned, you got the sequel, The Defiant, coming yes. out. Yes. February. You said? Yes. And yeah. what can we expect from that? Uh, Amazon's actually. Mm-hmm. Interestingly enough, again, before the whole Wonder Woman thing happened, right. I, I had this. The, I'd already written uh, the majority of the book, and uh, Fallon winds up. Um, hooking up with a band of, of, of warrior Amazons from this, this lost tribe, and as, uh, as, as one does, you know. It's Thursday, let's go yeah. hook up with some Amazons. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that's, that's going to be a really interesting angle for it. And um, again, with the CW, with the, the, the creative team that's working on it, it's also, it's women. Mm-hmm. And so there's a perspective there that's, uh, I think, appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so we don't know that much about the show yet, but do you know anything in terms of how many episodes it might be or Not when we can expect it? Not a clue. <laughs> um, it's, it's early days, so uh, all that stuff is... Uh, I, have, I, have, I have seriously... Honestly, I'm not even holding back. I'm, I, I don't know. I will be just as excited as you guys yeah. when I find out those details, and I'll be like, yes, or hmm, more, or, you know. So, yeah, I'm, it's, it's all kind of under... The bubble. They wow. just they just made the announcement. So um, so that, that that was very exciting. Fantastic. Yeah. Like my phone beeped and I was like, oh, I'm in Variety. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah you, so. you snapshot that one. You screenshot that. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I have to admit that. And um, so in terms of what you're watching and what you're reading at the moment, can you tell us? Uh, let's see. I am. I, I'm actually reading a book called uh, Amazons by Adrian Meyer, who's uh, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. If I did it wrong, sorry, Adrian. Uh, she, and it's actually a nonfiction book about uh, historical um, Amazon tribes, and it's really interesting. Uh, as far as what I'm watching, yeah, because that's <laughs> yeah. My my leisure reading is like you know like nonfiction texts that are like yeah, yeah this big. Um, you kill someone with. But, <laughs> Actually, just I'm just I'm just big, big into killing people right now with anything. Um, it's all research, I swear. Yeah, you're just finding new weapons. Okay. Yes, and I am actually um, I'm getting caught up on Game of Thrones because uh-huh. I was so behind because of all the I, you know book writing yeah. that uh, yeah, yeah. That, that my partner had actually he's he's stockpiled all the seasons for me and oh. I am so behind, yeah. which is great because I actually now get to binge watch them. But I have finally made it. This is pathetic. This tells you how far behind I am. I'm on season two. Episode two, and I have thus far managed to actually remain utterly unspoiled. Well done. I don't know how. 
I'm like, I even going through my Twitter feed, I, I've developed this facility for like scrolling past anything that has to do with Game of Thrones. So I'm like, I have no idea where this is going, but right now I hate everyone. It's awesome. Just walking around yeah. this I, I really am. It's like, I don't, I don't know how I've managed it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm reading. That's what I'm watching. Um, but a lot of CW shows. I love Arrow. Uh, I love Supergirl. Yeah. Um, those I'm a little more caught up on because I was just sort of watching them as they were happening. Um, Gosh, what else? Yeah, and then just recommendations. Give me some. Hit me. Yeah. Well, all that stuff on the CW. Maybe you should catch yeah. up with some of those shows. Too. Yeah, no, I, it, you know what? I, I Pretty much if it's on the CW, I'm in love with it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I think they, they do super fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and also I heard that they're going to be doing kind of a sister show, the She Word, at the same time. Yes, yeah. I heard that. Just, yeah. And I, again, I know, I know almost nothing about that, but, uh, but, the, but that they're doing it. And yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. You've already got a potential kind of sort of sister partnership there. Just, I, I, I'd be happy just for people to go for coffee with, yeah. <laughs> really, at this point. Just went out of the house. The cats are looking at me funny. You really want your coffee. We're going to get you I a do. coffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> and... <laughs> so just a sort of final quick, quick I'm like micro-obsessing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> final quick word then. Um, in terms of who you would like to see in the role Ugh. of Balin, have you had any thoughts about it? My one thought is some sort of magnificent newcomer that nobody has seen before because I, I honestly, I don't know beyond that. Maybe, I don't know, Zendaya might be cr pretty cool. Oh, She's, God. yeah, that Killing just occurred to me. Spider -Man. I loved yeah. her, she was, she was actually my favorite part of Spider-Man. I was like, more of her. So maybe, maybe. but it's like, like more I, Amazonian yeah, there's actually two yeah. parts, yeah, she, she would actually make a kick-ass Nyx. Yeah. yeah. So you can have hmm. to write a little email. Yeah. I don't video. know, you know. But again, I have no say in the matter, but it's like it's it's fun to sort of fancy cast. Dream. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well thank you so much for talking to thank us. Thank you. Good luck with the Valiant, the Defiant, the show and all your other projects, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Yes you will. Okay.